My name is Nicole Forsgren. I am the CEO and Chief Scientist at Dora, DevOps Research and Assessment. Today we'll be talking about uh, the basics of DevOps. So IT performance, the way we define it and the way that we've researched it, is the ability to deliver quality code with both throughput and stability. And I think that's important because for years we thought that you couldn't have both, and you actually can. You can have both speed and stability. And we've found now three years in a row that this drives and is predictive of organizational performance, where that's profitability, productivity, and market share. So it takes like three key areas. The first one is you really do have to have that technology piece, right? So, and that technology means some, some piece of automation. So the, the key things here are like uh, use of version control, continuous integration, continuous delivery, shifting left on security, deployment automation, right? All of these things that we see that are really, really important. Um, but you can't stop there, right? That's, that's what we saw in the 80s and the 90s. It just wasn't enough. Um, the next piece is like lean management practices and principles. These are also really, really important. Things like using WIP limits, um, small mat uh, using small batches, small batch development, small uh, single piece flow through your systems, um, visualization of the work through the system, you know, value stream mapping, that's also really important, you know, agile processes. Um, but you can't only do that, right? If you only do that, like do your meetings standing up and not sitting down, that's also not enough. Uh, the last piece is cultural. Culture is super, super important. Having a culture that optimizes and prioritizes for trust and transparency, um, lets people take risks and trusts that when you take those risks, it was for a good reason, um, doesn't shoot the messenger. These types of things are really important, you know, has, has blameless postmortems. We see that that's predictive of both IT performance and organizational performance. But again, you have to have all three because if all you're doing is like having pizza parties and beer on Friday, without the other two, it doesn't work. And so we found that if you have all three of these things, like IT performance goes up and organizational performance goes up and you have like this really awesome environment where technology transformations are happening and it's drastically changing the environment. It's changing what's happening and businesses are like business values changing.